Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Lydia Ifenio, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be about sunscreens. The sunscreens with which they are new to me because I got them last week. And we're talking about Australian Gold SPF 50 High Protection. I've got two of them, two of them that tinted. I have the original one, which is Mineral Lotion, and I have the new version, BB Creaky, <laughs> which is BB Cream for medium to tan skin tones. And this lightweight, matte finish, and both obviously with antioxidant and vegan friendly and cruelty free. Very water resistant, up to 80 hours. It's 89 mils, the new one, the old one, it's 88 mils. 24 pounds on Australian Gold website, which I ordered from and was very fast delivered as well, two days guys, only. And those uh, sunscreens contain uh, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. I don't know about you, I'm not very keen on reading, well I am keen what is in it, but I'm not really expert on the ingredients, especially on the sunscreens. I know the, um, the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are very good for you. They leave this little bit white cast, but they're tinted. They're not gonna leave you this white mask on your face. I will show you how they look like. I will show you the first one, which is tinted, but it's not too tinted. Mainly every day I'm using 50 on my face. 30 is very, very rarely when it's kind of like winter and no sun. That's when I'm using 30. But in the summer, I'm always using 50 on my face. This is the one which is tinted. It's quite light, you can see. Second one, it's slightly darker. Like I mentioned, it's medium to tan skin tones. I'm at the moment a little bit tanned with my fake tan. I will leave the video in the description on my tanning, which I'm wearing at the moment. I'm kind of more yellow. Obviously, camera exaggerate a little bit more. I'm not that very yellow in real life. <laughs> on the camera, on the video showing, I'm so yellow, but I am not that yellow. And the second one is slightly darker. And both of them, they have a little bit of pinkish... They are pinkish. They're not like, you know, you have like foundation, you have like a kind of yellow undertone, pink undertone, and beige undertone, and all this business. This one is on pinkish side. You can see the difference. It's more pinkish. This is much darker. And I will show you the video how I apply the first one and the second one, because I'm wearing it today. And I apply today and I'll show you how it looks like. Super easy to absorb, super easy to spread. It's like a lotion and it's no any greasiness. It's absolutely fantastic. And I leave them for around 20 minutes minimum. It's not much sheen to it, but doesn't this is not very flat matte, which masks your face completely. It's like dries on your skin. And I read lots of comments, people are complaining, special people who have the dry skin, because this one is excellent for oily skin and combination skin, which I have, with majority of oiliness in my forehead, around my cheeks and my nose. And application is quite easy, but have a little bit of grip after, and it's, you will see how this is gonna look. And after 20 minutes, it's completely absorbed and leave you those two, leave you this absolutely stunning glow color on your face. Even it's kind of pinkish, but I think it adapts to your skin slightly. And I remember first time I wear it to work and my colleague, she told me, oh my God, your skin looks so beautiful. What are you wearing today? I was like, eh, sunscreen, <laughs> tinted sunscreen and was stunning. Today I wear a uh, makeup. I wear my um, Pericon MD on the top and you can see how the application is and it's quite difficult to spread. It's not very difficult because this one is very liquidy and it's very easy to absorb with the fingers but because of this sunscreen, it's kind of dry on your skin, it has a slightly more grip when you apply your application, your foundation. I don't know how this is gonna work with another one, which is my favorite Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. I don't know how this is gonna work with. And it's fantastic. You can feel slightly, like tiny, 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 you can feel it on your face. 
because it's dry, it's really dry. So like I mentioned, if you have a dry skin, you're not gonna like this at all because it's gonna be dry your skin a lot. Maybe if you put lots of moisturizer underneath, I don't know, I don't have this issue at all. And uh, very difficult to wash it off in the end of the night, you have to use the oil. I'm using my Bioderma, uh, like on a cotton bud, and I use my Bioderma first, I'm washing every time I do the same. Uh, cleansing whatever I have my face, special sunscreens, I use Bioderma, special to clean my eyes and then I'm using um, from LMEs my oil and I cleanse my face with it like properly and then make sure everything gonna be clean and I'm using my salicylic sal sal acid cleanser in the end and my skin is nice and clean and I absolutely love it and yeah it's fantastic, I don't need to powder my skin be honest with you because on my face looks stunning. I have a little bit of uh, hula glow, this shine, that's what gives me shine, but it's not any shininess, shininess from oiliness in my face. Keep my oils in bay, and I use this for a few hours now, and I think looks amazing. Without the makeup, looks stunning, and this is gonna travel with me to Asia when I go back again cannot wait for that one <laughs> maybe for Christmas this year we'll see because over there it's a little bit different than here uh, with the COVID obviously and yeah those two gonna travel with me and it high coverage 50 SPF UVA UVB protection and is vegan friendly and is hypoallergenic fragrance free doesn't smell at all and I absolutely love them. It's my new favorite sunscreen, which I used to love. Well, still I love, obviously. I'm gonna still using my Ultra Sun. It's like a little fluid SPF 50 as well. It's like a brightening anti-pollution moisturizer with SPF 50 as well in it, with PA, PA++++, I think it's four pluses, which I love it as well. It's very expensive compared to this one, because the other one is 50, meals for 28 pounds and this one is 89 let's say 90 meals for 24 pounds it's like double size nearly uh, no maybe double size but it's a little bit more on this one than other one right this is my very quick review on this beautiful product and if you like this video guys please give it a thumbs up and i will see you in my next one